we are back. Um, now left this room, right? I don't see anything re resembling cookware. What's this box? I'm gonna write this down. I shouldn't have to tell you what's up with this. We saw the doors. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Please use as you wish. Yeah, there you go. Hmm? It's a box. We got a box. A box with a suspicious look. Uh. Well, Sarah, if you don't want to peek inside, you can look away. Inside must be the professor. We're gonna look. We are. No, searching every nook and cranny is the only thing I can do. You're really something, kid. Don't call me a kid. That it ruins how I feel about this a little bit. You know, I'm a little bit okay with like an age difference thing. You know what? It's me and KG. It's not Sarah. Sarah's not involved. I touched the box and the lid opened easily. Huh? There's nothing in the box. What's going on here? No buts about it. It's totally empty. And, okay. In terms of disgustingness, I'm guessing there wasn't any blood in there either. So, like, was now dearly protecting a box that had nothing in it? She would feel the weight difference, right? Where did the professor in here go? Uh, probably, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't tell me, is now still hiding it on her? Something that big? There's no way, right? Well, I guess so. Getting hard to tell what's the truth. Like, like when would it have been taken away? And why would she be carrying an empty box? Even as far as Mishima's death. Ha. Huh. Nah, just felt like saying that. Stop it! <laughs> Miley, wasn't it? If Mishima could revive like her, just sticking his head on, I'm sure now would be glad. Like a doll, huh? Do you think- No! <laughs> this is stupid. Do you think Miley's really a doll? Ha ha ha! It's out of the question! Nope, no way she's a doll. Well, no point in worrying about it. Let's keep trucking along. Trucking along. Oh my god. <laughs> and just pursue the truth. Look at his smile. Look at his, look at his muscles. <laughs> so, there's nothing in the box. <laughs> Irritated to have a mystery lingering. Oh my god. Irritated to have a mystery lingering. Haha. <laughs> I think we've actually looked at everything, even though, like, I don't know, I feel like there should be more to look at. What the fuck ever. Um. Why is it loading? It did not load the last time I played this. It was like, no loading. I'm like, why don't you just go to a black screen? <laughs> I want to talk to Joe. Can we? Yeah, nobody has anything to say about that. What the fuck ever. <sighs> Nothing. Fine. Now you did good. Thanks. I'm sorry for worrying you. Don't sweat it, especially because you're safe. Oh. But now we're your buds, right? Don't take off anymore, okay? But buds. You don't want to be? If my makeup's scary, I can take it off. Girl, that's not it. I'm very happy. All right. Oh my god, I love. Black 
door. Genius. An electric paper shredder. Yeah. How about it, Sarah? You see anything of interest? This? Huh. Just garbage. Probably just a waste of time to check it all, huh? Mm. Recreating the documents from all this paper would be time consuming. I I'll try searching it, meow. Dean. <laughs> Dean seems all fired up. I'll watch him till he's done. That's right. You watch your son. Dean is investigating. Maybe Dean's starting to regain his spirits too. My boy. Okay, that. Ignore that. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna turn into Jim out. What? What? There's a hand comp at the end of a chain. I wonder what this is. Plus the air in this room feels heavy. Well, this place is no good. How do you mean that? Mmm. I can sense a bad feeling somehow, so please tell me. <laughs> I'm betting somebody died here. Fucking Jesus Christ. I can sm I can faintly smell blood. Ah, uh, and it says there's dust. It was wiped a little while ago. I put the time around. Yeah, maybe the first trial. Once I became cognizant of it, I understood the unremovable raw stench of blood. The air that re repulsed my instincts. It's disgusting. I want to throw up. Whoa! <laughs> God. Don't imagine it. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Feeling your limits, Sarah. KG. I'll check every inch of this room. You get out, Sarah. But I'm saying trust in your friendly policeman. With a gentle push on the back, I proceeded to exit out the room. <laughs> I mean, I did scream, so to think an empty room can make me tremble. It's been planted in me, the fear of death. I'll do my best for, to make up for troubling you. Seems Gain's doing the same in that room there. No, no worries, Sarah. I... Cause he's a good boy. Hey, Miss Sarah. So, and that. Aren't you tired? It's not good to work too hard. You should take some time to rest. Mm. Nope. I can't rest, not while everyone else is working hard. I'd say rest is a valuable option in its own right. Still, you never know who will come attacking you. So I know how you feel, Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah. I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own. But... Uh, hey! Joe's your best friend, right? Eh? Yeah? Yes, he can be stupid in ways, but he's a really good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sarah, you trust Joe, then? So what about Joe? Miss Sarah. Uh, so came very close to me and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that vote? Huh? I had nearly forgotten. No, I'd been trying to forget it. The second trial, the vote in which Professor Mishima died. Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes. So and now got zero votes and everyone else got one vote each. But of course, we thought that choice had no meaning. You see... I voted for Joe. Do you know what that means? Sorry, that must have bewildered you. 
We'll be going now. Catch you later. <laughs> what a douche. Joe didn't vote for himself. The first time I played this, I didn't vote for myself either. What? Who fucking cares? Jesus Christ. You're gonna trust him over our- Oh shit, sorry. Over our bestest of best friend? I don't know if he's still here, but... I'm saving in case there's other dialogue options. Joe is sitting down wearily. He's staring at something in his hand. Uh... Oh, this is the different option that I was talking about. Try talking to- No, we're gonna startle him! Bah! Oh my god, look at that. Sorry. Get off! What the hell, Sarah? Ah, uh, sorry. Don't do that and then take it back. At least laugh. What are you looking at? This was in my inside pocket. That's... It was a photo of me, Joe, and Yoko. We were at a cafe, having a fun chat together. What a narcissist. I'm so photogenic. God, this just means I'm gonna have to pick more options, right? Do you miss her? Yeah. Man, I miss her. Sure enough, it's unthinkable for me to suspect Joe. So, he must just be seeing shadows where there aren't any. Suddenly I thought back. Joe got involved in this because he came to my house. If he'd gone straight home, wouldn't he be living life as normal right now? How late a realization is that? I mean, to be fair, I was so focused on myself. We were busy <laughs> trying to save lives, trying to, trying to handle stuff, you know what I mean? I didn't consider- shit. I didn't consider Joe's perspective for a second. I had my first proper date with Ryoko that day. <laughs> I was so nervous I couldn't talk at all. Somehow we ended we ended up talking about you, Sarah. Huh? Do you remember that time you tried to sit on a traffic cone and fell on your butt? I couldn't stop laughing. Ah, you promised you wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> it sure got the conversation lovely. So then I sort of asked her why she decided to go out with me. Huh? What do you mean, why? I mean, you didn't know me that much, yeah? <laughs> really? Well, no friend of Sarah's could be a bad person, you know? <laughs> Funny, right? Because I was thinking the same thing. Joe. Yoko and me made an agreement. If anyone makes Sarah cry, we'll make them cry. <laughs> so, like, stop looking like you're on the verge of tears. I mean, Joe, you're... If I make you cry, Sarah, that means Ryoko's gotta sock me, right? <laughs> you're right, Joe. I'd better have you protect me. Yeah! Whenever I see a traffic code, I'll exterminate it! Erase them from your memory, I mean it! Okay. That's beautiful. Back. Okay, we startled him! We're gonna peek! It seems like a card. Don't tell me! What? Sarah, you startled me! What you looking at? This was in my inside pocket. That's... Okay. Oh! Okay, we picked... Do you miss her? I'm... S We're gonna pick what a Narzalu. How'd you arrive at that? Ryoko, wonder what she's doing now. Haha, <laughs> no kidding. Man, I miss her. Oh, it automatically goes. I didn't have to do all that ill. <laughs> oh, okay. No! <laughs> startled me. What are you looking at? This was in my inside pocket. I'm 
am so photogenic. Hey, you said it. <laughs> Yoko looks cute here too. Sure does. Man, I miss her. All right. A noise on the second floor. What happened? Huh? Let's go. <laughs> I'll go look. I'll be you. <laughs> I will remain here. I'll leave him alone. Fuck face. The red door is open and shines a bright white light. The counter is zero. Don't tell me the people on the second floor went in there. Let's go. It'll, it'd be dangerous to enter. I'll just take a peek. I carefully stuck only my head into the room. And then, someone shoved me from behind. What? With that, I lost consciousness. Fun times. Here we go. Mm. Huh? We're gonna end it here, I think. <laughs> 